Welcome back folks, it's me Phil Terrell, you're watching part 4 of the Claire A run in Resident Evil 2, OG original recipe. Sherry, I've been looking everywhere for you. I was so worried. We've got to go now, honey, okay? If we stay here, that monster will find us. Let's go. No, I won't. What's the matter? <laughs> Don't you trust me? Of course not. Stranger danger! It's not that, Claire. It's because of my daddy. He's over there. I heard him call my name. Daddy must have been attacked by the monsters. I have to help him. Wait, Sherry. Don't go alone. Sherry! Sherry! Alright, so we're going to be in the, one of my what? most what? annoying parts of uh, Claire's run, which is controlling Sherry. Because she runs incredibly slow. Um, but... She has an incredibly large health bar, as far as I'm concerned. Because she tanks quite a few hits from these services, and, uh, yeah. Um, and she's no worse than where. So that's three hits. That will be almost three. Almost three. Almost three again. Anyways, um, she has a very high health bar. Um, we're going to see that when she gets attacked by uh, roaches in the sewer. They're in the park. But once you play this route, it's kind of awkward she hears uh when she says her she hears her daddy call out to her and is like uh well was he calling her in a normal tone or more of a uh so yeah uh lack of common sense but then again she's a child so that's three hits i feel like i'm counting counting down for how many licks it gets to the center of a good spot three a four uh a five she's still alive what the hit Anyways, um, enough of that. So this puzzle right here is super easy. It's very much like the Aqua Ring puzzle in Resident Evil Remake um, or Resident Evil 1 because I believe that puzzle is also in there as well. So you're going to go all the way down here and you're going to push these blocks in order to form a bridge. Um, and I believe in the Leon part I said Zumba was on these blocks but it looks like it says UHB. United Health... Uh, bars i don't know so uh just gotta push them to make a bridge so really you need to move this one all the way to the end so a little bit awkward to get sure to move these boxes but we'll manage so just keep pushing these boxes this one all the way to the back the one in the middle we're going to climb over it and jump over to the side of it and then push it in the middle so not too difficult it's just a bit annoying because sherry's a bit slow so just push push share there we go and then <clears throat> jump over this and then jump over the other one i feel like uh the animation for sherry mimics renoa's from final fantasy 8 when you're controlling renoa by herself and um when you're gonna give the sorceress um the uh odin bangle i believe i don't know her animation like clim climbing up reminds me very much of that i don't know why anyways i'm stalling so once you get the bridge formed you're going to go to this control panel, you're going to hit the switch, and you're going to flood the whole bottom area. And we'll have our bridge. And this bridge, once again, I'm sure I said this in the on beat, ignores water physics. In other words, it's not going to move at all once we're on top of it. So it just stays like it's in like cement or something like that. So we got the precinct key. We got extra grenade rounds for uh, Claire. So now we just got to go back to where Claire was and we give her these goodies. And then we can continue on playing as Claire. Now, again, the Doberman's not going to hurt you. And even if you did get hurt a lot as Sherry, she does have a first aid spray. So she's not going to die. Not to these Doberman, unless you just really want her to die. Uh, ah, loading screen. Save me. Anyways. Um, but yeah, Sherry's... I'd rather much rather have Leon's partner because at least she has a gun and she can defend herself if she runs quick. Claire! Are you there? Sherry... Are you okay? Did you find your dad? Yes, I'm okay. But I couldn't find him. But I did find something else for you. Here. Here's another. Clonk. Sherry, what the hell? Thanks, sweetie. Now, why don't you come over here? I want you to stay with me. Uh, no thanks. Stranger danger. Claire. I can't reach the ventilation hole anymore. But don't worry, I'll find another way. I can take care of myself. No, you can't. 
we're gonna find that hey, out by Sherry, the end of the game. Back. Sherry, Sherry. So with that, Sherry gave us our last key to uh, open the last few doors in the police station, the club key, and we got some grenade rounds, which are gonna come very handy when we have to deal with some liquors in the last areas of the police station. So I'm gonna go ahead. And I'm gonna rearrange my inventory. I'm also gonna save. So we're going to. I feel like, well, we're going to need to get their grenade launch because we're there, that hallway in the police station right before we got to the outside area is going to be, it's going to be infested with liquors. Um, the area where I said, hey, you don't have to kill these dogs, they'll be, they won't be here later. That hallway is going to have liquors in it. So you absolutely want to make sure you have grenades. That's why it's so nice that Sherry was able to find grenades for Claire. Um, so really what i would recommend is bringing your grenade launcher and bringing the acid rounds because with the acid rounds you'll take out liquors in one hit um, the normal liquors i believe um, the enhanced liquors that you'll fight later at the very end of the game they'll take two acid rounds to kill sometimes maybe three on the rare 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 occasion but i should have most definitely gotten acid rounds i don't know why i forgot but um go we're gonna go up the ladder remember there's dobermans up here in this section because um, i didn't kill them here but shouldn't really need to. If you play your cards right, you can get through here without getting a bite out of a uh, player. So, ah, never mind. And never mind again. So, we'll get the red herb. And this will be nice when we got the red herb. That should have hit me, but, you know, I'm not going to complain. Um, that red herb will be able to mix with the green herb that we'll find in the power room. So, right here, there'll be liquors. So, um, walk slowly so you can get to where they are. Again, if you have acid rounds, this is a lot less of a... Um, Sure. This right here, I'll admit, in this room, the up top, uh, the morgue, my brain completely left me and I forgot I was using tank controls for a moment once, uh, obviously, the zombies wake up. So, what you want is in here, you get the red car key and everything decides to wake up except for one body. And right there, I completely forget how to, how to control Claire. Now, uh, in my mind, in my defense, I'm over here thinking I'm never going to be in this room again as Claire. So let me just go ahead and take a few hits, and I won't have to worry about um, killing any zombies and wasting any of my ammo. Now, I, luckily I have a full heal item, otherwise this would be very dangerous in the hallway with the liquor. Because at uh, caution, that liquor is going to kill me. But now that I'm fine, everything's all Gucci, so I don't have to worry about that. So we're going to equip our grenade launcher, we're going to take out this liquor, and there's two of them, so just be wary of that. So shoot this one. And he didn't fall back, so he can't hit me. And I want to take some damage. There's another one right below me, so just be careful. Um, it's right by the armory room. Now, if you don't care about the armory room for whatever reason, which you should care because there's ammo and there's some nice goodies in there, um, you, you, just, you can just avoid his liquor then if you don't want. But you absolutely should not avoid this room. You, need, you really want what's in this room. Um, now, some people um, don't like the machine gun. I do. Um, and actually, that's the item I tend to leave for Leon, but I decided to change up my normal thing, even though it's been a long time since I played RE2 um, original uh, on my PlayStation. But I decided to change it up and decided to give Claire the machine gun, not the, the side pack. So, this puzzle, you need to get to 80. So, if you flick it up, you'll, you'll go up 36. If you push down, you go down 14. Um, it's an addition puzzle, but all you gotta do, all you gotta remember is up, down, up, down, up. So if you know that, you don't have to do any math. No easy math. So that door opens, and that's what you need the red card key to get in to access. That's the armory. Luckily, you know, we save this to the end. Phil, what are you? Oh, I know. I'm trying to look at items around on, on the floor. Um, but since we have the red car key, we can just do this all at once. Um, otherwise, there's really no reason to go into the power room. It just unlocks that armory room. So we can go in there and then just unlock it with the red card key. There'll be two sets of handgun bullets, I believe, a set of bow gun bullets, and then in the locker there will be a machine gun that will take up two slots or a side pack that gives you an additional two um, slots in your inventory. Now. In hindsight, and in my experience, I always save that side pack for Claire because she likes to carry a lot of grenades at the end of the game. And at the end of the game, you, you're kind of wanting to use acid and fire rounds 
for the enemies in there because you'll have liquors to deal with which are the acid rounds you'll have plant 43s which are they die very easily to fire rounds um, so you can actually steal both of them if you want or take both of them and leave Leon with absolutely nothing and just say uh, F you Leon I'm not gonna leave you anything and just enjoy all the machine gun ammo or the machine gun and then the side pack for player. It's completely up to you or you can do it with Leon if you're playing with Leon A. Um, but I like to generally go with the side pack with Claire. This one I just decided to spice it up a little bit and change up from my normal routine. Um, which I guess in hindsight as well. It really helped out because I didn't have to rely on the bow gun. Because uh, the machine gun, even though it's not super good, um, I underestimated some of the recoil that... When I say recoil, but some of the stagger... Um, it gives the enemies, especially the zombies. So, and the good thing is, is once you're done with it, you're kind of, well, I guess it's kind of good and bad. Once you're done with it, you're done with it. You can't, there's no ammo to reload into it. And so you just get rid of it. It's, it's really, it's really a one hit wonder, but you get a lot of one hit wonders out of it, if that makes sense. Cause you have a hundred percent ammo. So once that thing goes down to zero, it's done. Now in here, there is a uh, memo, which I don't even think I do a good job of explaining it in Leon B, but there's a memo here with this cop talking to this, uh, the guy that works in the back in the machine area called uh, Thomas. And Thomas is a big fan of chess and he's actually infected with the T virus. Um, and he says, you know, he's quite far in chess. I want to play chess with him. He's always complaining about how hungry he is. He looks kind of sick. I wonder if he's all right. Um, and then eventually he says he literally looks like the walking dead. Um, and then he also says, come to think of it, I don't feel so well. So he's also infected with the T virus. So that's not good. Now, how he ended up on the floor with his throat ripped out, ripped out. I don't know. Maybe it was a hunter or maybe it was a liquor or maybe he just decided to do it himself. Uh, I don't know, but I screwed up because I can't get those acid rounds, but I will get them later because I know I want them. And right here. I'm actually thinking about using my healing item. I'm like thinking to myself, nah, I probably shouldn't. I don't want to do that because that's a waste and I'm recording this. So I'm not going to do that. And now, um, we need to go and get the last part of the clock tower puzzle, which is getting the cog wheel. Now, since we have the, the club key, we can absolutely get that and then go to the clock tower and get the... Um, last half of the Jaguar tablet, the tablet, a, aka the blue thing. Um, right here, if you had this, if I had the space, I would go and do it right now, but I don't have the space. Um, so I'm going to go to a save room and I'm going to rearrange my inventory and then we'll be done. Um, so I'm going to go up and I'm going to go into the secretary's room and then I'm going to go and get that, um, that inventory sorted out. But Unfortunately, um, there's one thing I forgot about the golden cogwheel, and I'll mention it when we get to that room. Which, honestly, in hindsight, I'm very impressed with myself that uh, I remembered as much as I did for as long as it's been since I played this game originally, or the original version of RE2. So, <clears throat> let's go ahead and store some stuff away. So let's go ahead and get rid of the bow gun rounds or bow gun, bow gun bolts because I'm not going to need it. Machine gun, I really should have kept that. Um, I'm more thinking that really I can get away with handgun rounds, but um, you're going to want to carry the grenade launcher with acid rounds because there will also be a liquor in the room with the uh, golden cogwheel. Here I'm just double stacking the, the bow gun bolts. I don't know why I'm bringing that. I'm never going to use it even though there's going to be one time I keep it in my inventory. And right here... Take your lighter, take your lighter, um, because I forget to take my lighter. I'm gonna get to the room. I'm gonna realize, oh, shite! I don't have my lighter. Um, so, yeah. So let me go and show you where we need to go. And once I realize I need my lighter, I'm gonna jump cut back to the room when I have the lighter. Nothing big happened. I might be, I may be killed like a zombie or two on the way back, but otherwise, um, nothing too different other than running back to a, a save room. I'll go ahead and grab the herb here because once I'm done with um, this puzzle, I'm going to be leaving the police station. I won't ever have to come back into the police station. And you're not going to give me given an opportunity to come back to the police station. This isn't RE2 remake. So once you're done, you're done. You won't be able to come back. So let's go ahead and go this way. We need to go to the interrogation rooms. 
um, having the submachine gun and the grenade launcher, in my case, um, would have been very good because I left some zombies in the hallway. The submachine gun could have taken care of them. And then the liquor that's in the back room with the golden cogwheel could have been easily taken out with the acid rounds. Instead, I'm going to play um, um, musical mm. chairs with it, I guess I should say. Oh, oh I'm getting bit. Oh. Hey, that, oh no, the zombie still has both its arms. I think when I came back here, I think I ripped off its arm. Maybe just fixed it. But since we raised the precinct key, it's um, useless. So we're going to go ahead and toss it. Again, there is a liquor here, so just be careful. Acid rounds would have made this a lot easier. So I got to waste two grenade rounds just to take it out. I'm going to do my best to not attract his attention, but it decides to try to hit me. And I want to play Ring Around the Rosie or uh, Musical Chairs with the liquor. And I decide, ah, whatever. I haven't realized yet I need the light. So, um... Right here, I'm thinking to myself, ah, something's weird. I feel like I'm forgetting something. So you need to light a fire. And there's actually a first aid spray here. But at this point, I realized I need the lighter because I need to light that furnace, and which allows me to do the puzzle here. If you do this, examine it, it says light the king, light the queen, and then light the jack, which basically is light the one in the middle, light the one on top, and light the one in the very foreground. So I'm going to exit the room, and I'm going to jump cut back to the room with the lighter. So seems weird I'm going out to just come right back in. It's because I'm, I jump cut and I, I headed about two minutes to be backtracking. So we got the lighter. So you're gonna light this up, light the middle, and then we're gonna light. I'm oh, sorry, light the one on the bottom, and then light the one at the very top. Sorry, and and then we'll be done with this puzzle, and we'll get the golden cogwheel, and that'll be the end of this part. So we'll go ahead and exit the police station on the next part. So once we get this golden cogwheel, that's it. So later, folks, and bye.